Hello everyone and welcome to the Spytest tutorial series. This is our first tutorial and in this tutorial we will be learning what is Spytest, how we can install and set up a Pytest project. So let's begin. Pytest is one of the most popular testing frameworks for the Python and Pytest is known for its simplicity, its scalability and powerful features. And Pytest is widely used for writing the simple unit tests as well as the complex functional and integration tests. Now let's discuss about some key features of this Pytest framework. So the syntax is really simple, which means that you will be writing your test as a regular Python functions. Then there is no need to inherit any specific class. Then there is a feature for the automatic discovery of your test files and function. And how it works is that your test files should start with the test keyword followed by underscore or at the end with the underscore dash test. Similarly, your test function should start with the keyword test followed by the underscore. Then there's a feature of parameterizations, which means that you can run your single test with a multiple set of data. Then there's another feature which is known as fixtures. So fixtures are used for the setup and teardown of your scripts. For example, you want to set up your browser you want to close your browser so these kind of uh, things can be done using the fixtures then there are detailed assertions there are so many assertions available so that we can test our application properly now the question is that why we need the spy test the reason is that the the features like automatic discovery of tests parameterization fixtures the the things which are specific to the testing are not good in the Selenium, we need something robust in terms of the automation testing. Okay, now let's go to the PyCharm. Let's go to my desktop over here and let's set up our project. So, let me open the PyCharm over here. And what we will do is that we will install and set up a project for the PyTest and simply we will go here and click on new project and I will name my project as PyTest Tutorial and click create. So it will create our project and it's creating the virtual environment for it. Now let's go to the browser and search for the PyTest. So simply type PyTest and this is the official link. Just click on PyTest documentation and here click on get started and here simply what we need to do is that we need to run this pip install dash u pytest so this means that python should be installed on your system so what you need to do is that simply if it is not installed simply go and download python so i'm using windows so simply go to this link download this one and install this one and after the installation, what you need to do is that simply go here, open the command prompt. And here, what you need to do is that type Python dash dash version. So it should display the Python version. If this version hasn't been displayed, this means that your Python is not installed properly. You need to install it properly. Okay. Now, what you need to do is that simply copy this command from here and go to this project open the terminal and paste it over here and press enter now it will install the pytest in your project so you see that it's installing this one and it's successfully installed now how we can verify that the pytest has been successfully installed or not so what you need to do you need to copy this command pytest dash dash version and go back here and paste this one here and press enter so you see that the pytest version has been displayed which means that the pytest has been installed successfully now let's go back to this website so they you will find different explanation how to guide references you see how to use the fixtures how to invoke the pytest how to mark the test function with the attributes how to parameterize 
so we will see all these features in our upcoming tutorials and right now we will simply go here and just click on this examples and customization tricks so click on let's get started so here you see some basic tests so basically as we just learned that we will be writing our test in the format of the simple function so this is a simple python functions right and as we learn that there's an automatic discovery of the test files and the function so you see that the name of the file is test underscore sample dot py and you can also see that the name of this test function will start with the test underscore and then name of the function so by using this pattern the pytest will automatically detect your test file and the test functions thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial